So I'm going to use this picture to make the shapes. So I'm going to show you very carefully. So obviously we start off with circle for his head, as always. Now this bit's quite rectangular. His shoulders are going across and down his body. So I'm going to do shoulders across and a rectangle. So measure it about this far. So about there for his jacket. Okay. Um, I've got an arm here that's out at this sort of angle. So I put that angle there and draw an arm coming up here like so. And obviously we've got this arm coming down here. Okay. Now his hands resting here. So I'm going to draw a little hand shape. Now I'm going to draw this as a box. So it's going to go across, down, down, and across. So there we go. It's our box. Okay. And obviously his legs are going to come down in the middle of that with his feet on the end. We can worry about that bit in a minute. Okay. I'm going to add in a circle here for this wheel and sort of like an oval, very thin shape there for this wheel because it's facing on and another one out here for this wheel here. And then last but not least, I'm going to draw in his walking stick going down here. So it sort of curves around and goes down. That's just roughly, okay, roughly sketching it in. And I'm going to start by doing this because this is at the foreground and his legs and, and body are sort of behind it. So I'm going to start with his walking frame. So I think the best thing to do is start with this strip. So I'm going to go over, across like that, and then across. That's that top bit. I'm going to draw in the walking stick, I think. So we're going to go round, curve that round there like that. Make that a little bit thicker, curve it round. And obviously I'm not going to draw across this because it goes behind. So I'm going to follow that line like I drew earlier and come down. I'm going to follow that line and, oh, and come down. You can if you want to use a ruler at this point. I try and just... Um, have a guess if it goes horribly wrong I will go over it with the ruler and then obviously the bit on the end so that's his walking stick and the beginning part of his frame so I'm now going to draw this part of his frame so we've got bits that come down here and I might have to look at the picture move his hand over a little bit so I'm going to curve around like that because all you can see is this curved bit and it's going to go straight down behind the walking stick straight down towards the wheel and this side you can see a little lump over the top and then straight down like that, just to simplify it a little bit. Um, in the middle, we have a cross. Okay, so you can sketch it in very quickly before you do it. This side goes over the top of this side, so I'll do this bit first. It sort of comes across that bit and then goes down here. And then down there like that. It's got a little bolt in the middle. And this bit goes over, sort of attaches itself here. So, like so. Okay, now the wheel has a sort of loop bit that comes down here. So I'm going to draw this bit here going up and over just very, very simply. And then draw the inside bit here of that wheel. Okay, then I'm going to just draw around the wheel like so. I'll make it a little bit thicker. That we can see and it's got little bits in the center which you can fill in and add in as much detail as you like there okay um, I'm gonna add the little bolts here and then I'll do the wheel this side so again it's got a little bit that sticks up the top so I'm gonna go over that then I'm gonna go down up and over that um, bit that we drew earlier like so so that's the framework and then we can sketch in the wheel making it slightly flatter along the bottom where it hits the ground like so and the same with this one so we can get slightly flatter on the top and on the bottom block it out almost like a rectangle and then it has a bit here that it attaches in behind that we can't see okay there's nothing here so that bottom bit where we we drew our box we don't need to worry um and that's our basic frame so now we can start on captain tom so I'm going to start on his hands here and start working my way around here. Then we'll sort his legs out. So 
from his thumb. It's going to come down like that. It's going to go across because we can't see much there. We're going to go down and in like that. I might just draw an extra finger like that. So it's gripping there. And then we can draw his jacket coming up. So you can draw a straight line or you can have a look at the creases that you can see up to this point here. And then it's going to go down from his face and then along like that, quite a straight line. And up this side, it's going to go up, goes in a little bit up here and disappears in the shadow because then we have his elbow. So let's draw this bit coming out, pointing his elbow up like that. I'm only going halfway because about halfway up this sort of shape here is where that bit, um, stops. So then we're going to curve it down and round like that. Okay, and you can just then draw a little line there. And he's got three buttons going along that part. We have another little line here we can include for his shirt there, like so. Then we need to think about his hand. Now he's got his thumbs up, um, so his hand is a bit of a box with his thumb up like that. So we're going to draw up here, and we go across, round, across round across round across a little one this time because it's a little finger around like so crease it a little bit and then back in here and then draw his thumb coming up like that and there we have him thumbs up okay we'll join that line into his head there now from here it comes sort of his collar comes out down in and down you probably can't quite see it on there but um if i zoom in on the picture it's a little bit blurry, it goes down, in, down, and then back. So that's what I'm going to aim to do. Down, in, down, and then down there. Bring this bit straight down into a V, like so. Okay, so it's not going all the way down, it's only a little bit, because then we have the rest of his jacket line come down like so. And then from here, this goes straight up next to his face. Can you see how it goes next to his face? So we're going to try and get as close to his face there as possible. And the same thing happens here. It goes sort of down, not that you can see it behind the hand, but it goes in, out, and then down like that. Then we've got button, button, button. And you can, if you really want to, draw little creases in there, and that would all be shaded. But we can worry about that, that later. Now here, he's got his medals, so I'm going to draw a straight line across to sketch those in. And then I'm going to draw a circle here for that medal. And I'm going to draw a star, and I'm going to zoom in so that you can see how I do a star. So I go across, like so. So five little lines. One, two, three, four, five. Then you can take your time by going around the outside of those to make that star shape. Okay, failing that, you can do, draw um, upside down triangle, then normal triangle, that still makes a star there, like that. Okay, so we're gonna bring in a triangle, another triangle, and then this one is straight down by the looks of it, with a bit of going across. Ooh. Okay. So that's his medal sketched in for now. I'll zoom back out again so you can see. Okay. Now I'm going to draw the rest of his jacket coming up, sort of wiggling up there like that. That's his crease and a bit of a shoulder line like so. Now we're going to do this bottom bit, then we're going to come back and do the head because that's the hardest bit, trying to get him to look as close as we can. So he's got a little bit of jacket peeking out there. And a little bit of jacket peeking out this side. And then we need to do our trousers. So we've got bits that come down, down, down. It creases a little bit like that and then cross the bottom. It creases up a little bit. Straight up. And then we've got another leg here, here. Like so. Coming down behind that and then across. Now his shoes sort of step behind like so, a little bit of a heel and obviously I would probably colour them in black anyway later so it doesn't matter too much about the detail and then here 
that sort of shape you can just about see the the heel bit there but then again i will shade that in black okay now for the difficult bit so i'm going to zoom in a little bit on his face not too much now i've got quite and i'll zoom in here so you can see what i'm doing now i've got quite a sharp pencil because if you can see that quite a sharp pencil because when we're sketching out the details we're going to need that fine bit so i'm going to draw a line across the bottom of his chin and his his face sort of goes angles up and then up so we're going to go this way and then up here like that and this side the same is a little bit of an angle there then it goes up here and then his ear comes in sticks out a little bit there like that so that's one ear and obviously ears are roughly the same size so we're going to follow that across and do the same on this side if you can see a little bit more of that ear and then i'll do a curve and a line like that that's a good way to getting the ear definition like so okay now we've got a lot of hair here so i'm going to just very lightly sketch in because obviously it's quite white fluffy bit there bit in the middle and a fair amount over this side you can always add this in later if you want to okay now his glasses are quite prominent now in his head it's about half halfway down so when we're looking at our head about halfway down we need to draw so i'm going to draw a line just straight across like that and that's where our glass is going to be so you can see a little bit here up over across the bridge of his nose up over and behind the ear there like that there we go now i need to draw that into a bit of a so it's pretty much rectangular shape one two rectangular shaped glasses there like that now his eyes are quite tricky so i'm going to zoom in a little bit more on my drawing like that so you can see and then we'll go from there very simply for the eyes straight line across about halfway circle and a highlight there like that and you can outline them very loosely so straight line across a bit of an arch circle and a highlight Gonna make that highlight a little bit smaller. There, that's my eyes at the moment. Now we have a few more wrinkles under the eyes, so you can do a few lines underneath. Bit of a brow, bit of a brow there, like so. Um, and then we can do the nose. So coming straight down and round, a bit like that L shape. We're gonna go two two curves either side like so and now he's got um if you can see two little wrinkly lines coming out there they're quite prominent so i'm going to draw those in like that and down and like that there we go little wine in there and then we're going to go across and across And there we have. Zoom back out a little bit. So you can see, um, we can obviously we can add a bit of shading down the side here, shading down the side, just gives him a little bit more shape. A few more lines. Now we need to do the tie. So across, curved line like that. Then we need to do a curved line here that you can just see, and then triangle with a bit cut off there and then his tie going in like so then we can add the stripes one two three four okay and there we have my best attempt at a very simple captain tom drawing <laughs>